What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install or upgrade your AMD drivers. So before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub button below. So let's go ahead and jump into the video itself. The first thing you wanna do is check which graphics card you have if you don't already know. So to do that, we're just gonna open up Task Manager by right-clicking on the Start menu and choosing Task Manager. Inside Task Manager, we can go to Performance, scroll down until you see your GPU, and you're gonna look for the actual model of your GPU. In this case, it is RX 5700 XT. So let's go ahead and open up the AMD website and look for that model. We're gonna go into Downloads and Support, and we're gonna choose Drivers. From here, we have a drop down menu. So let's go ahead and scroll down and find the actual graphics card. So again, we have the 5700 XT. We're going to go to graphics and scroll down until we see the 5700 series. Then we're going to choose the Radeon RX 5700 series and then choose the RX 5700 XT. Now, when we click submit, we'll be given a list of compatible drivers in order of their release date. So we can see that we have a couple different platforms we can choose. I'm on Windows 11, so I'm gonna open this one up. And here we have the different versions of the driver itself, along with their release date, as well as the auto detect and install, which you can use if you couldn't find the name of your graphics card specifically. So we're going to use the AMD software Adrenaline Edition because this is what's best for gaming. If you're a video editor or work with th that type of software, you may want to choose the Pro Edition. But otherwise, we're going to choose the Adrenaline Edition. Now there's two of these we can use. We can use the recommended version, which came out December 8th of 2022. Or we can choose the WHQL version, which came out May 10th of 2022. So I'd like to choose the latest version. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the 12.8 version. Let's click on download. And we can ignore this form for now and just wait for the download to complete. Let's go ahead and open up this software and click yes. And we can see that it's going to extract the its own folder as it installs. Let's go ahead and click on install. All right, now that the installer has started, it will have checked to see that your card is compatible, and if it is, it will give you the option to upgrade. Let's go ahead and choose additional options here to look at the rest of the options we have. Factory reset doesn't actually restart your computer. What it does is it removes all of the prior versions of AMD software and temporarily pauses Windows Update on your system. You'll want to use this if you're having issues with your AMD software. Otherwise, click on Install. Your display may flicker during the installation. If it turns black, don't worry, just wait it out and it will pop back up shortly. All right, once you've gone ahead and installed that, you'll need to restart your computer to finish the installation. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here because obviously if I restart my computer, it's gonna stop the recording. So uh, let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions or comments about the video itself and I can try and give you a half. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace. Mike the tech, the architect, huh? Mike the tech, Mike the tech, yeah. Mike the tech, the architect, huh?